It's like the presupposition that the topic is a categorical truth or falsehood. Although some advocates of the blank, the side you're against, would argue, and then you would say what the opponents would say, these romantic critics are too dogmatic in their provincial ideology. Romantic means sort of like um, super optimistic. Dogmatic um, means, uh, we, well, you guys know what dogmatic means, so I'm not going to say it. Um, provincial means narrow-minded. Ideology means like your principles or um, beliefs. And then you want to add a general sentence regarding the topic here. And then you put your prominent archetypes that exemplify how um, uh, the side you believe in are example one, two, and three. Um, so let's try this out. Um, let's, say the, let's say the topic is, does curiosity benefit us? I would say you, you would start your essay like this. The presupposition that curiosity benefits us is a categorical truth. Although some advocates of a non-creative mind would argue that creativity stifles productivity, um, these romantic critics are too dogmatic in their provincial ideology. Um, and I'm, uh, I just, let's say I'm really nervous. I can't add a general sentence. Uh, three prominent archetypes that exemplify how cur curiosity um, creates great benefits for so society are... The, uh, F. Scott, F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. Um, the, I don't know, you could say another historical example in current event. I, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. But um, no one cares if there are hundreds of essays created for this exact example. Yeah, yeah, that's a question. There's actually probably thousands. And the problem is there's nothing wrong with it because A, um, SAT essays have to be scored in a standardized way. It's a standardized test, right? So even if the essays look exactly the same, that's, that's fine because um, they can't change your grade just because they know that there's a template out there like this. B, I'm giving you a template, the base of the template that I scored a 2400 with. Um, so it's not like it's plagiarism. So I'm saying here you're free to use it. C, a lot of students change it a little bit. Um, and then D, creativity is not a criteria. So like they can't grade you in, um, down because it's, uh, because of lack of originality or something like that. Okay. So anyway, um, getting back to it, I think someone asked before, should you um, talk about the opposite position and shoot it down? Yeah, it's a great way. And it's actually built in the template. Basically I say, although some advocates on the other side and then you say what they say, and then basically you're just saying they're too narrow minded. And I'm saying it in a really fancy way, these romantic critics are too dogmatic in their provincial ideology. So that's to answer that previous question we had. You can talk about the opposite side in other places, but this is one way to show that you've already thought about the opposite side very early on in the essay. Um, you don't need a separate paragraph. Again, the three paragraphs are your three examples. In those examples, you can talk about the opposite side if it comes up, but yeah, you don't need it. You could also talk about the opposite side in, a, in your conclusion, which would be a good